Hi everybody, I'm Steve Scott, and in this hopefully short video, I tend to ramble on, but please forgive me if I do, I would like to discuss uh, two primary slogans that we have in Kodokan Judo that are very, very, very relevant to what we do, <clears throat> and they generally guide what we do in terms of how we practice Judo, how we coach Judo, how we think about Judo. And the first one is, uh, and by the way, these were developed by Professor Jigoro Kano himself, okay? The first one is Seiroku Zenyo. And again, if my Japanese is poor, I do, I, I do apologize for that. But Seiroku Zenyo is the best use, the most efficient use of a person's energy, okay? And Professor Kano worked on this concept early on in the, in the development of Kodokan, in the Kodokan in 1882, and by 1923, he really uh, put it to paper, put it to pen and paper, what, what he really thought of this. So this, this concept was uh, widely, uh, widely disseminated by 19, in 1923 by Professor Kano himself. And in it, what he says that, again, we're talking about the first of the two slogans. This is number one. In it, he said that judo stresses the importance of the economical and efficient use of energy, both mental and physical. And again, I'm reading from my notes here. I hope you forgive me. But that's what it does. It stresses the importance of the most efficient use of mind and body and how it can be used to whatever end we want to use it for. Okay. And, you know, along that line, though, along that line, uh, Kana was very quick to point out that if a person does not benefit society, his existence is, is in vain. Okay. So that leads into the second phase of, and he believed this because judo is more than a sport. We we all know that. You know, it's it's a it, it is it is a character development. It's physical education. It is a sport, certainly self defense. But so when when Kano himself wrote, if a person does not benefit society, his existence is in vain. That leads directly to his second slogan or aphorism that governs what judo is, <clears throat> and it's the jita kyo e. Jita kyo e. Again, forgive me for my Japanese if I've slaughtered it but means mutual assistance and, and benefit for, for all of us. Mutual welfare and benefit for all. We've seen that written in many places. And that's really what it means. This, this, this really is, encapsulates uh, Professor Kano's hope for a, a wider, a broader sense of what judo is in, in our culture, in, in, our, in our society. That, um, that people can use judo <clears throat> to benefit each other and benefit themselves as well and get along with each other. So, you know, these, these two principles of, of judo, that judo is the best use of energy, okay? And that's the concept of Jew. You know, it's, that's, you could have a, a major discussion on the concept of what Jew is in judo, the concept of flexibility, of adaptability, of, of being adroit, um, you know, using, again, using the best use of energy. That's, that's what Jew is. So Roku Zinyo really is the forerunner of, not the forerunner, but, but encapsulates, I think, better way of saying it, what the concept of Jew is, Judo, the philosophy, the way of Jew, is Judo. So that's, that, that's an important one, I think, you know, and the other one is important, too. But uh, some notes here I wrote here that what Professor Kano wrote, I think it's worth, worth repeating here. Again, I, I might add to this before I quote Professor Kano, uh, this comes from Modern Bujitsu and Budo by Don Drager. This is my reference for today's discussion. And uh, volume three in the, in the series, a three book series, uh, printed originally in 1974, but it's reprinted. It might be hard to get right now. I don't know. Uh, try Amazon or eBay or something because they, it's a great book. It's a great book, great reference book. Don, Don Drager was a great historian. Um, and he's one of the leading historians, I think, in judo, certainly. <clears throat> but anyway, back to what Professor Kano said about the goals of what judo are and this this pretty much encapsulates these two aphorisms we discussed judo is not a method of uh making the best use of mental and physical energy per, for a person only of attack and defense okay rather it's the it's, it's a method by which the the principles of the most efficient use of energy can be assimilated and applied in all spheres of life so it's not just for winning or losing Okay, that's what he's trying to say here. Judo is in a broader sense. And uh, as you get older, then you turn your attention 
away somewhat from just the physical aspects of judo and you start to think about how judo can make you a better human being and your study of it in, in other ways of life too it's not, not just saying as judo is a religion but it can certainly add to a person's development as a human being and that's what professor kana was talking about when he certainly was talking about his jita kyo a mutual welfare and benefit <clears throat> and he was also talking about that when he talked about the seroku zinyo the best use of a person's energy so anyway those are the those are the, the two primary slogans that I know when I came up with, when I, when I started learning judo as a 12-year-old from Jerry Sweat, who was a Kodokan black belt, spoke Japanese, and was really uh, enmeshed in the culture of judo. Uh, and he taught us this. He taught us this early on. I'm so glad he did. It's a gift he gave me. And it's, it's, it's certainly guided me in my study of judo, my coaching of judo throughout the years. So anyway, the best use of energy, number one, mutual welfare and benefit for all, and number two. Those are the two major slogans, the major aphorisms that guide what Kodokan Judo is. Thanks for watching.